Okay, what's up guys? So it's me again, yay, making those videos that I do very infrequently. Anyway, yeah, so I wanted to tell you about what I did in the summer. In the summer, I went to Uganda on my World Challenge expedition. There was 18 of us in the team. That's two teachers, a World Challenge leader, and 18 of us. It was, oh god, it was great. Like, if any of you have the chance to do a World Challenge expedition, just do it. Like, honestly, it was so much fun. So, we got in there at about 7 o'clock in the morning, all feeling like it was about 9 at night and ready to go to sleep. Sadly, we didn't go to sleep. We had to spend the whole day getting ready, preparing, and thinking about what we are going to do for the whole month. So, what we did to start off, we did a little community trail to get ourselves accustomed to the climate and so that we could walk properly and not die or anything. So, a community trail that was nice, it's a few little pictures, it was pretty fun. We had a little walkity walk and we had a little talkity talk and then we were done. So, we had a day off after that just to get ourselves rested. We went up to this place called Sydney Falls, which was a really nice waterfall. We got to stand under said waterfall and we got to have a little swim in a stream, which was god cold, like, ugh, cold. After that, we then actually started out on our main Mount Elgon trek. To get up there, we had to go in the back of these little trucks with five chickens. There were six of us in there. Me, Harry, Alex, Robbie, Ashley, and Mr. Hartley, the teacher. There were also six chickens. The chickens were named Yolo, Yohoff, Gerald, Clementine, Scott, and, um, I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, after that, we actually started climbing a mountain. Like a real life mountain. To the top of this mountain. It felt pretty good. Here's a picture of me at the top. Then we moved on to the project phase. The project phase was great. We were helping build a school, and we helped teach lessons, and we helped mark papers, which wasn't the most fun thing, but it was just all really good. We got to go watch a church service, which looked and sounded like this. Yay! They have such good music there, and all the church services were really, really fun. We actually donated some money so they could finish building the church, which we felt really good about. Then, of course, after eight days on the project, we then actually went and had our R&R. &R. I know this sounds like it was a really short trip. I've just condensed it down to the best bit. So then we went on R&R, &R, we went on safari. We didn't see any lions, but we did see a lot of other things that were really, really cool. And then after R&R, &R, we just spent a few days in Entebbe, just chilling as mates. It was really, really good. Pretty much the whole experience just made me realize how lucky I am. I mean, there's kids out there in Uganda that have pretty much nothing, and they're some of the happiest people alive. And I mean, what do I have? A slow internet connection sometimes, and that gets me mad. That's just not cool, is it? If you liked any of the music in the background, this is one of my friends who made this music for me. It's really nice of him. He's actually got a channel where he does try and do music-y things sometimes and he's very good at it. A lot better than I am because I'm not very good at music. So if you could go and subscribe to him, that'd be good. He's called The Matt Good Music, I think, and his name is Matt and he's pretty awesome. Love your faces. Bye! <laughs> Ah, what the 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 what the